Hey, I'm Jay from the Cubs Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Reacting to These True Story Animations. I got three good ones in today's episode. If you guys cool with that, you down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go. Guys, I miss my barber. It's like three in the morning. I'm about to send him a you up text. Look at this. And it's looking curlier than Bigfoot's pubes. Next video of today's episode is called I Heard My Mom Speaking at Night. I bet you I know what she said. She was like, oh, oh, Bill. And I'm assuming that the dad's name is Bill. If it's not, this is going to be extremely awkward. Please be Bill. Please be Bill. Every That's the face that I would make too if I heard my mom screaming at night. Night, I hear my mother through the walls. But oh! she never talks during the day, only at night. Oh, if my mom looked like that and screamed like that and had big tits like that, dude, I don't even know. Like clockwork, she begins at midnight and abruptly stops at 6 a.m. Hot breath. I've she got that hot breath. Harsh whispers, playful talking. Cackling and oh my even God, screaming. Guys. I'm getting the goosebumps. Some of the things I'm getting I the bumps of goose. It's about dark and dreadful things. Whenever I enter her Bro, room, Bro, this how scared I am. Look, the silence my is there. Heart. Oh, she both just sides. walks in bam, her bam, chair. Bam, 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 bam. This is enough. I can't take it anymore. My mom has been suffering from seizures for the past few years, and they're getting worse. Why does the mom have to look like that, though? That's the most haunted and cursed mom I've ever seen, goddamn. If I worked at Texas-run hospital, I'd be hitting her with a baton or something. I'd be like, you can't come in here. I'd be karate chopping her neck. The doctor told me that she needed full-time care, so I volunteered. Bro, she needed a full-time cross in her room with her evil-looking ass. Look at that! I haven't seen her in a decade. I knew she needed me, so I kind of thought it might be my last chance to stay with her. Bro, this thing's but scary. It's gotten too much. She scares me. She doesn't even eat. I've tried and tried, yes, but she her. doesn't open <gasps> her mouth. I've tried to get her out of her bedroom, or at least out of her chair. Oh God, she damn! It's aggressive. She got enough strength to pull that so hair. Whenever she needs a bath. I bathe her right where she sits. Does she wash her ass? It looks like she does. Judging by the way she's going down and looking at where she's looking, she washes that ass. She just rocks in her chair. She probably got swamp ass. Smiling at her closet. You know, she probably got she dingleberries. Does this all day. I I'm on to you, no Grandma. What I have or to Mom, next. whatever you are. I'm about to go insane. I can handle caring for her during the day. But at night, I can't anymore. Oh, dude, this so is So I finally went to the doctor for some help. I told him that she's been keeping me up at night with her whispering and talking. And I also told him that it's getting too much and she's starting to scare me. Nice shades, douchebag. But his facial expression while looking towards me was weird. He stared at me like he didn't understand what I was talking about. And what the doctor said next scared me even more. Well, I think you had a bad dream. Your mother bit her tongue off a few years ago. She can't talk at all. Oh, God, that looks creepy as hell. Guys, I'm telling you, goosebumps, look at them things. Moonlight peered through my window as I jolted awake. My clamorous breaths disturbed the silence of my dark room. Your clamorous hot breath? I'd just come out of a frightful dream that had me thinking it was all too real. I always assume people have hot breath. With sweat on my brow, I sat up and grabbed my water from the nightstand. Why can't they have nice breath? took a sip from the now You know what, that's a lie. Glass. Everybody's breath smells like ass. My hands shook as I recounted my nightmare of the horn-headed man. In my dream, I was walking through my neighborhood the street lights flickering as I made my way down the uninhabited sidewalk. He looking fresh in his dream? Nothing threatening. See you, bro. Just through the midnight hours. A block down, I could see a figure in the distance, walking slowly towards me. His steps seemed mismatched and labored. He passed a few houses looking straight ahead, neither looking left nor right. His head was fixed on the sidewalk in front of him. As I was getting closer to my home, I could see him slowly starting to embark on my territory. It doesn't look that scary because it looks like a drunk guy with a horn mask on. I quickly rushed to my front door and hurried inside. Through my window, oh, dude. I could see him walk past my property. I was thinking to myself, Oh God, please have him keep going. Please. 
He was just about to walk all the way past my front yard when he stopped. His body almost shifted abnormally as he turned to face my home. He just stood there, looking, not moving. You're looking like a final boss. Standing there. In a video game that's not very the good. The bore the horned head of a skeletal goat. His body was pale and looked fragile, and his fingers were thin and bony. I thought to myself, what does he want? Slowly, he started lifting a quivering arm and pointed right at me. <laughs> I started to backpedal into the darkness of my house, when all of a sudden he let out an inhuman screech. That's when I woke up. Too frightened to go back to bed, I turned on the television and saw that the local news for early risers was on. My stomach I will never see that. My body I am not an early riser. As I, I wake up at night. I wake up when the hood rats are out and about. Said, Breaking news. A woman who lived on Columbia Avenue has been murdered. Local officials say that they received an anonymous phone call from the victim's home. We arrived at the house at around 1220. We saw the victim inside in a card which rested next to her. We arrived at the house. The sheriff Do you like my ponytail? My wife pulls it during intercourse. See the image of the horn-headed man. The officer started to read. One down. Slowly, I go. What? He then lifted his head back up. His blood started trickling from his oh, eyes. Oh, so he's having a dream within a dream? Sat there shaking. That's a dream within a dream. I breathe. Columbia they would never just show that on the news. Away from me. Think this is my first rodeo? I, out of my bed and I was ran born to on the window. news. Something They're like breaking me news. Me look Woman gives birth to that dude. That's when I saw him. Oh, him again. He just stood there, looking. Oh, yeah? Not moving. How about we reverse just Uno looking. that? Let me look at you. Horn-headed man. His body pale and fragile, and his fingers thin and bony. They're not even thin and bony. He just looks like he needs to clip his nails. Wait, that was it? Wait, what happened though? Like, is there any aftermath? Like, did you go outside and beat his ass? I mean, he's bony. He can't be hitting you that hard. I bet you it's like paper just flapping at you if he hits you. Last video of today's episode is called True Horror Story about an uninvited guest at my friend's party. Plot twist. I'm uninvited guest. I want to come in. You know, I want to have a good time. I want to shake my ass to good music. Can you blame me? Nobody ever sends me an invite, so I got to invite myself. This happened around the year 2011 when I was 13. 13. One day my friend was Man, this planning on throwing be a party at his place. It's gonna so be like a bouncy house. Drove me there. Maybe some chicken wings. Everybody goes it to took bed about at like four 8 p.m. to get there, and when I finally arrived, it was around 8 p.m. Let's go! A few hours later, we Boy, 13 and you're drinking out of red cups. Like, who are you kidding, dude? There's apple juice in those cups. We were having fun, but out of nowhere, I had to use the bathroom really badly. Ooh. About five minutes had passed, and while I was in the bathroom, I heard a crunching <laughs> noise coming from the woods. I'm sorry, guys. At first, That's not appropriate. I it was That's not even who funny. Late to the party, but all of a sudden, I heard loud banging on the glass. It's me. I started right, let to me think in. it might be my friend the just looking for me. So I told him that I was inside the bathroom. Whoa! However, it wasn't my friend. He probably saw a small peepee. -pee. It Look was at those a guy eyes. who looked like he was in his it's late like, God 50s. God damn! He said that his car broke down. He then asked me to help him, but I was already paranoid about strangers. So I simply told him that I couldn't help him. I know. He's like, can't you see I'm taking he a dump suit? And walked away. When I was done using the bathroom, didn't I went even wipe, didn't even wash his hands. My friend was. I told him what I, I saw. I don't trust these hoes. What the man said to me. My friend looked like he just saw a ghost. Then he finally said that for almost two months, this man was stalking his entire family. Uh oh. And also saw him from the bathroom window tons of saw times. Saw his pee pee too. They asked the police to check their area several times, but they it's couldn't like, help officer, I know he saw my pee, pee because he said when it was smaller than it actually is. I thought he was overreacting until I heard the same banging noise God, that coming that from me. the door. Oh. It was more violent now. Everybody paused what they were doing and looked at the door in shock. Why is some random guy trying to crash a 13-year-old party and that looks like a bottle of vodka or something? What are these kids doing? You know what? I'm calling the police. I'm snitching on all these bitches. One guest broke the silence and said it was probably only the pizza delivery man. But my friend told me not to answer the door at all costs. Are your parents home? through the peephole 
Like, and there anybody he was, got a gun? The same guy I saw through the bathroom's window. He had a psychotic looking face and was Ew. licking his. Ew! Like, did he just eat ass with that tongue? Put that back in your mouth! Lips nonstop. So licking the thing like. stood there in silence and hoped that the uh, man would go like... away. But after a few minutes, you do that? the loud you know noise what I mean? came like, from the Put basement. that tongue away! The guy threw a brick at the basement's window and crawled through it. Got some uninvited guests with uninvited Suddenly, tongue. Suddenly, it sounded as if a gunshot echoed through the entire house. My what? friend and most of the partygoers screamed and ran out I of the house. I see a gun. I'm putting my hands up. I stayed behind along with a few others. I don't want no problems. Others. One of the older kids was trained in martial arts. Oh, yeah. So I saw him assault oh, yeah. and attack the man. Until he was shot. Afterward, the man escaped and ran into the woods. Oh, he ran back. The whole scene was chaotic now. An ambulance and police car arrived soon after, and fortunately, the kid that was shot survived. Aw, damn, After man. a few days of intense investigation, the police <laughs> went kidding. to my friend's house <laughs> and told him that they caught the guy. I'm glad he lived. It turns out that he was living in the woods. He also kidnapped three kids, but luckily they were found in time and set free. Yay. But they also found out that he had already killed a few kids already. Oh, boo. So after that... He was condemned to death Yay. for murder. Okay, so we have a happy ending. Um, guy got condemned to death. I mean, it's not a happy ending. He killed, he killed some kids. What, what am I talking about? He shot a kid, and then the kid survived. I mean, come on, it's a bad ending all around. All right, guys, well, that's going to do it for this episode of me reacting to these true story scary animations. If you guys want me to react to any more of these on the internet, make sure you guys give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!